Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Wednesday, December 18th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. Hey, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, it's a real cool way to give it a try. You click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use the free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anyone else on the roster for that matter over at DocSports.com. It comes with a DocSports guarantee. And again, it's all yours. All you got to do is get started by clicking on the link below the video, get that free $60 account. Great way to give DocSports.com a trial run. A free pick winner here yesterday with Miami as they eked it out. We also had a nice premium pick winner uh, in college basketball over at DocSports.com as we look to turn around uh, the last several days in college basketball. And uh, we'll look to win again. We've got, we're going to have multiple plays on Wednesday's card. Done capping and I've got at least three plays. Going to kind of see how the lines move over the next hour or so. Uh, but for now, we do have at least three plays. I could have as many as five, but at least three for sure in college basketball. Those will be posted over at DocSports.com at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific on Wednesday morning. That's when you'll be able to go grab those. Uh, NBA, unfortunately, we lost one in overtime last night. Hate when we have a dog and it goes to overtime and that's where you lose, but uh, we lost with an over, or we lost, I should say, in overtime with an underdog last night in the NBA. But now, heck of a run of late in the NBA, upwards of about 60% winners uh, in recent form. So it's been good. NHL, I lost there also, and it's been a tremendous run in the NHL basically since the start of the season. Over 60% winners there is the current run, but a loser last night. So we look to bounce back in the NHL and the NBA, like one play in particular in the NBA on Wednesday. It'll be at DocSports.com at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific, as will uh, my NHL. It's a short card in the NHL on Wednesday, but I do like one play on the card. So we're talking at least five plays, premium picks going on for Wednesday, at least three in college basketball, for sure one in the NHL and one in the NBA. Don't miss out over at DocSports.com. Real quick note about the football packages over at DocSports. Uh, they'll be posted as normal on Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific. That's when you'll be able to go get the football plays for this weekend, which means a few of the opening bowls and the entire week of NFL all posted 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific, DocSports.com. And we've been on a tremendous two-month run. Eight weeks, the last eight weeks of football, we are 38 and 21. That's 64% against the spread, uh, up over $4,600 for those wagering just $100 per unit. And if you go all the way back to the start of last year, we're talking over 280 football plays documented over at DocSports.com. College and pro football combined, we're hitting over 56% against the spread, and you're up close in on $9,000, wagering just $100 per unit. So don't miss out on this weekend. Red Hot, 4-1 last week in the NFL, and we finally get the Bulls going. We're going to have a couple of Bulls on this report coming up on Thursday. So, again, that's everything that's going on for us as far as Wednesday's basketball and hockey, and of course, Thursday's football. We'll remind you and tell you a little bit more about that on Thursday as far as the football is concerned. All right, real quick note, uh, again, we had the winner here last night with Miami of Florida. We've only given out three college basketball plays in about the last five or six days as far as the free pick reports are concerned. We've been able to win two of them. We had BYU over Utah State as one of those plays late last week. And I bring that up because we're going to back Utah State on Wednesday night. Uh, laying about eight and a half points right now as it is. And, and we think they get the job done here. Listen, Craig Smith, uh, the coach of the Utah State Aggies, has been tremendous off a straight-up loss. In fact, last year and now this year, he's a perfect 7-0 straight up off a loss and he's won those games or his team Utah State has by almost 17 points per game in that 7-0 run which just continues what he was doing at his previous job uh, before he got this gig at Utah State he just knows how to re-energize and motivate his team off a straight up loss and they usually come out and they play well and they usually win those games as we mentioned 7-0 the last seven going back to last year and uh, with Utah State and they, they annihilate those opponents I mean 16 17 points per game winners. We like them here. Uh, we like the fact that they average about 80 points per game. Uh, they're going to push the South Florida tempo a little bit. South Florida wants to play, they'd love to play a first team to 60 uh, type of game, but I don't think they're going to be able to get that done here against a more talented, very talented Utah State team that's obviously well coached, as we mentioned. Uh, I don't also like the fact that South Florida takes about 40, 41% of their shots overall from behind the three point line, and they're only averaging about seven, seven points. 0.5 right in that neighborhood 
three point makes per game despite taking 40, 41% of all their shots from behind the three point line. That's a tough spot, I think, here for South Florida in that situation. When you combine the talent gap between these two, the coaching of Craig Smith, the way he can motivate his team to get over a straight up loss and bounce right back, and they're off that loss against BYU, I, I got to back him here. I think eight and a half's fair. I think uh, as I cut this video, it's eight and a half. Uh, I think it, you know, tends the cutoff point if you happen to see this video and if it does go up we'll see if it does but uh, that's about where i'd cut it off um, so anyway utah state minus the points is going to be the free pick or is the free pick i should say on wednesday don't forget about our card over uh, at docsports.com again at least three college basketball plays set to go for wednesday plus one nba one nhl we're gonna have at least five plays overall for wednesday's card all right listen utah state's the free pick if you like these videos be sure to click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe i do appreciate those who have done so thus far i'm scott spritzer docsports.com when we come back thursday morning by 5 a.m eastern 2 a.m pacific i have my first free pick for the upcoming football weekend don't miss out on that and uh, again let's put wednesday in the win column we'll talk to you then